Hello everyone, this is Andrew again with Garthakian Gaming and today's video is update number two for the Circle of Orboros Wold Wrath. And what I'm going to show you today is what I've done so far in regards to painting him. And let's just go ahead and take a look here. You can see, start with the upper body here. I have uh, painted all the stone and the gems. And unfortunately the light isn't cooperating very well. But um, the gems I just did green like they show in the pictures for him. And let me just show you the paints that I used here to do these different parts. Actually, I'll just go ahead and show you the, the other arm here really quick. See, maybe you can see that gem a little better since it's bigger. There's that one. And then on the back of his hand, the other one. And I'll show you the other arm really quick too. And then we'll go over the paints. So there's the other arm, the gemstones. Alright, so what I did is first I primed him with my uh, airbrush and I use a Badger Renegade Velocity series airbrush and I primed him with this uh, Vallejo Surface Primer and this is just the uh, gray primer here. Sorry, I got a little close to the camera there. Alright, yeah, that's just the gray primer. Uh, this works pretty well straight through the airbrush. No need to thin it down with anything. Okay, once that was primed, I then, again, with the airbrush, took uh, Shadowed Stone from Reaper, number 09085. And this, I just thinned down with, um, here we grab it, with just some Tester's Acrylic Thinner, actually. I find that uh, this seems to work rather well. It doesn't add a drying factor, like if you'd use some type of an alcohol-based product or you know, Windex like some people use. I've actually kind of got away from that just because it can have negative effects on respiratory if you're using uh, Windex because it's got ammonia in it. In it. But uh, this seems to work pretty well, the acrylic thinner from Testers. And you can get this at, like any hobby shop pretty much. So I did the whole model in that shadowed stone. Then, using a dry brush technique, I just use a large dry brush and I dry brushed all of the stone with uh, Stone Gray from Reaper, number 09086. And then I did another dry brush over the entire model with Reaper Weathered Stone. Now this had a little incident with something that made all the ink run on the label, but this is Weathered Stone. It's number 09087. Um, you can buy this as a complete triad. It comes with all three colors. And it works really well for paint and stone. So that's what I did for all the stone. Then for the gems, again I went back to my airbrush. And for this process I actually used a, a Soder 2020 since it's got a finer line to it. So you can do finer work with it. And I started by doing all the stones just using uh, Citadel Dark Angels Green. Now to get this paint through a Soder 2020, you have to use quite a bit of thinner. Because GW paints are pretty thick, or the Citadel paints, and the soda is really fine. So it took a lot of work to get it down to where it came out, but once it did, uh, the results are, are really good. So that was the first color for the gemstones. Then I covered two-thirds of the gemstone coming from the direction that a, the light source would be coming from. So if you imagine the light, for him I did the light coming from uh, this direction here, coming down from his top left. So the top two-thirds of the gemstone coming from that direction I then did with leaf green from Reaper and this is number 09011 there it is right there 09011 alright and then coming from the same direction I did one-third of the gemstone in pale green. Now these labels are pretty beat up because, you know, these bo bottles have seen a lot of use and have water spilt on them and various other things. But this one is number 09012. That's pale green. Once I had done all the greens, I then put two coats of Citadel Gloss Varnish. 
over the gemstone. So you put one coat down, let it dry really well, then put another coat down. This helps really protect those gemstones pretty well and gives them a really nice glossy look to them. So yeah, and I actually did the gemstones before I did the dry brushing of the stone. And what I noticed is that by putting this over the gemstones, when I was dry brushing, I would get some gray on the gemstones and just gently rub it off, like just with your thumb, pretty much, and it'll it'll come off of this. So that is update number two for the Woldrath. The next step I'm going to do is actually all of the runes. So it may be a few extra days before I get a video put up showing that. But uh, yeah, if anyone has any questions, um, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.